akamchukua hapo akamwambia eh na huyu ulikuanga na yeye unachukulia bibi nani akamuelezea akamwambia ah na uko na namba nyingine akampea namba ya brother yake mwenye anafanyanga huko KCB akampigia huyu anko anka akaongea na yeye akamwambia huyu eh ayuko asa ni alienda saa mbili ya usiku sasa mimi mwenye alinipigia ni brother yake akaniambia eh mama asa ni umeamka aje akamwambia niko poa ni kule ni dere ndege wangu wote ya tafikia naendelea kukua nime nimepeana chakula nikamwambia nimepeana huyu ameenda usiku Nilimwambia nipigie ni ambie kila anijulise kila hali yake iko acha nipigie na mpigie achukue simu. Ah akaniambia ni filasa ni ametuacha hivyo. Mimi sasa nikakuwa nimechanganyikiwa. Wakakuja wakanichukua na gari kunipeleka nione bwanangu tena wakanisuia nididia mpaka usi siku na mnachiweza. Nikapata na mama mwingine hapo ni kama anaenda kaa nini kanisa. Alishikilia kwa shimo yake akaniambia ah umelia sana. Hani kamwambia nauliza Mungu maswali. Ajao nilikuanga chaji ya SG. Na nimefanya nilikuwa na diconnections. Nilisimamia wa mama. Mbona Mungu Mungu mimi hapo nionee huruma niachie bwana wangu chini. Ye brother yangu, ye bwana wangu, ye tunakaa na yeye. Haka niombea. Sasa hiyo kuniombea macho sika ikaisha hivyo. Kama alisema na shukuri tukamweka hapo na mwacha tukatelemuka. Sasa nimekaa nilijiuliza mbona Mungu tafiti haya. Na niwaambie kama wachale wote mnapitia kama yenye napitianga. Eh Mungu naye ni nani? Sai lebele. Mimi sina mtu wa kuongea na yeye. Nikiongea na wanawake wanaona mimi ninachukua mabwana sawa. Wale wenye nilikuwa na marafiki sawa. Sina. Lakini nauliza Mungu atanipea hekima. Na hata simama na mimi na vile anaenda kusimama na mimi naendelea kukaa. Watoto wangu wanaendelea vizuri kwa kukuvumbua. Familia ya bwana wangu inaendelea vizuri hata kama sina mwenye naongeanga ni makasi sisi tu. Oh. Na kama walijua walichukua tu ni wakilileta hapa Nairobi nitakuja kuwaomba omba. Mimi hakuna siku nimeomba. Tangu ni hapa kwa chai wale. Nashukuriki machi ya bwana wangu. Amen. Niko na kibao ya kupika chipo. Niko na kibao ya kupika mandasi asubuhi na mka saa 10 niko nje kupika mandasi. Wenye wao wenye wanasema watu wanapita pita usiku wao wamekuwa marafiki sangu. Naongea kwa na wao usiku. Kuna maji nikwambie na nisubwa mapato kitapoka mahali maji na mwalika. Nikipita usiku siku nyingine nikapatana na wao makara. Wakaniuliza eh na wewe ni nani unapita usiku saa saba nikamwambia mimi ni pindi Hassan. Na shukurikia maji metopoka na imi mwaka sina hata brada ya kufunga. Nimeshiru wa nitafanya haja. Hapa hapa kunifanya kitu. Waka nifungia maji waka niambia ndeni kwa kwa chuku na chuku. Kuna chua buwana haku kuta shukurikia maji mbaka asubu. Kunaendirea kukavi suji mungu anandirea kunioneka na imi. Lakini ilifika siku ya Friday. Nilikuwa nga na kina mama fibi. Menya nilileta hii jashi. Kiwa usiku saa tatu na kitu. Nimefika chiko tunayendirea kusa visuji. Kwenda mama fibi akaniambia wacha niingie kwa nyuma nipeleke mtoto alale na rudi. Hakuwa na wakati hakurudi. Sasa kwenda kufunga ile kwa kibanda yangu niingie kwa nyumba. Nikasikia mwizi 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 ai nikachunguka ai na mimi ni peke yangu niko nje mwizi ametokeleza wapi. Kuangalia kwa plot nyingine mtu ndio yeye anataroka na mango kwa mkono. Suri Mungu alimuonyesha akaenda na kwenda chini akukuta kupanda kwenda chuo. Angepanda kwenda chuo siku mimi alingenungwa waniache watoto lakini Mungu alinyorosha mkono wake niko wali na familia yangu kwa sawa. Mungu ataendelea kunipigania atasimama na Mungu. Na wachane mko hapa tunifike karibu nionyeshe vile nikisimama na watoto wangu. Mungu aliwashe mkono. Lakini na wasemu kwa hapa usiniuze mimi sitaki kukuswa. Mungu atakaa na mimi atakuwa na Hiyo wimbo ni mekua kwa mda mrefu ni kisema ni tamusiku wani Lakini ilia nataka njimbe tu kwa ukufi wana minutes Osa, hour of minutes Na mungu atawabariki Nema ya yesu, nema ya nitosha 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 Kuna mwako na 13 years So, hiyo mda yote kwa sijajipanga, nikuwa naka sijajipanga Matu mtoto wa mungu ni wa mungu, mungu wa ikupache ujeo zito ni kiwa bado kwa family planning Na nikasema huyu mwenye ilikia na family planning, ni tanea So, mara ya kwanza ni nipo kundua nikonayo, ni nitoa sacrifice Nikasema God I need grace 
sababu ni muda mrefu sijakuwa na ujauzito inaweza nisumbue. Ndio Mungu alinipea neema. Ilikuwa ni ujauzito mgumu. Katika hiyo wakati ya period ya ujauzito nikapata diabetes. Kuna kakuwa na lea mimba nikao na diabetes. In the process nikapata by pH ilikuwa acidity level kakuwa iko juu sana. So every now and then nilikuwa niko hospitali. Naweza pata most of the time shitani wala tembe usiku 2 am 3 am mimi na kibizo hospitali waniweke drip na mashindano mbako anidunge so at least nikoe sana nilipofika january ilikuwa nafaa ni deliver around 23 january so daktari walikuwa ameniambia ikifika the first week of january ni endo hospitali na fan fanywe scanning kwa certain mtoto wako aje kwanza ndo nitapelekwa delivery room. So around third, kwa third, nikakuwa niko na maumivu, nikajipeleka scan, nilikuwa sasa ni scan kwanza. Kufika scan, demographer akasema njia zako za mtoto zimefunguka. Nikasema Mungu apewe sifa. So, na dada mnajua vile wote na leba. Yes. I labored until I was fully dilated, 10 cm. Mtoto amekataa kuteremka. I was seeing death. At that time, I just gave up. Nikambia God, ni kama leo nitakufa. Na, lakini umtoto wangu, umweke nini? Umweke sawa. So, uh, nilianza kuleba on, man, on Monday, Satatu, usiku. Nika leba the whole day Tuesday, but I didn't know it was leba. Nikwa na jambia ni full leba. The whole day Tuesday. So, Tuesday kifika usiku masa moja nikaanza kufeel the pain was coming too much but I was in the hospital too. Kifika saa saba usiku nika faint nikiwa labor. So madaktari wanangangana pia wanilisha kwa sababu you cannot deliver when you are unconscious. So ikifika around saa saba saa chisa nika sikia madaktari wakisema uye kifika six kama hajafunguka just have to take another course. So niko conscious niko unconscious kuna mtu daktari another step ni kumaanisha nini cuz nambiwa ume dilate 10 cm mpaka tsa make sense ulikuwa mna bene cha poza mtu peke yake ikifika 6 hakuna daktari mwenye ni attend niliachwa peke yangu 7 8 around 8 30 kuna daktari mwenye alikuja mwenye alikuwa mna admit the previous day nakakuja akaniambia mama uta have to sign emergency cs Ambia no problem. When I was in the theater, I was scared. Doctor, I'm going to say, "Ma, after my mom gets Kazana, I hang away the liver no more." So I don't know what was happening. But luckily, the person who was doing the procedure was a man who was very nice. But I thank God for the fact that he was very nice. I was so happy when he came to talk to us. And since I was planning to give my baby another name, that day when the person who was going to be a man. Umtoto ndamuita praise kwa sababu e, utukufu na sifa ukurudia kwa sababu kama si wewe singepata huyu mtoto ningekuwa i was going to lose my life and i was going to lose the baby at the same time but i thank god kwa sawa nime nikaamua kujiunga na hii kanisa nimeona god akifanya mambo yake the other week last week siku kwa the other week you can mambia eh mam reverend kwamba vitu zangu unaona zikama nafungika kuna deni niko nao kwa shule na sipendaki hizi maibu za deni kwa shule so mtoto wangu alikuja last week kwa ndaka nambia mama unajua nimebakisha 2000 kaambia tutalipa deadline alikuwa maambiwa ni Tuesday alipokuja Tuesday nikamwambia yani waambie my sister tunakaa ni neighbor umepata mama hayuko yani uone atakusaidiaje sister ngu sister ngu alipatia 1000 nikamwambia Sahi mebakisha deni ya 1,000. So ni kambi. Iyo siku, iyo mande kwanza, kuna ikifika usiku, kuna mtu alinipigia simu. Haka nambia bari yako mamu, kambia poa. Unafanya ngambia shara fulani, fulani, ni kambia ye. Aya, kuna, unachukwa ngana kisa ngambia, ni kambia ye, ni ambia bayi yako. Haka ni ambia bayi yake, ni kambia simu. Siku agi, kambia ni sawa, itachukua. Na sina hata shilingi moja. So ikifika on Tuesday tuna communicate na huyo mtu mtoto wangu anahitaji 1000 sina Wednesday mtoto wangu anambia mama unaja nafanya ndio pesa kesho sasa ambe nafanyaje nikamwambia usijali hiyo Wednesday usiku hiyo mtaka nipigia simu akaniambia mziko iko sawa kujia kesho mziko 
na kujia mzigo na sina hata shilingi. Mwenye alikuwa anachukua hiyo mzigo nikampigia simu nikamwambia nimetafuta pesa sijapata. Hebu nitumie pesa. Ile pesa kwanza nilitumia asubuhi nikatumia shuka katuma shule 1000 ile nibaki. Nikasema niko miko shua ikifika masaa saba hivi na deliver mzigo na nitalipa kila kitu ya shule. Ikifika asubuhi huyo jamaa akatumia pesa zingine. Ani tulikuwa natakikana around 39000. So si alikuwa ametumia 7000 usiku 1000 of course less nisha tuma shule. Asubuhi akamka akanitumia 32000. Ikakuwa sasa niko na 38. Bado na na gambo na hii pesa kwa sababu hiyo mzigo inafai bebu mali penye inatolewa. So hiyo tarehe nikapiga tu mtu wangu mwenye mwana na na kuchukua na mzigo ngamebu twende. Tukatoka tukaenda. Na hiyo tarehe niko na chama pia. Hiyo chama itaka 1600. Kwa ile pesa yenye mtu amenitumia ndio mimi ndio kasema cha inipe chama so niko na less around 3000 kwa hiyo mzigo na gamble bado na pesa yenyewe so nilipiga kwa hiyo kampuni hiyo kampuni kwa ni ile mali niliwaifanya kazi the first the first job niliwaifanya the same company na kwa nipatie mzigo so the supervisor was my friend kambia ni aje John si wacha nibaki na elfu yako mbili nilikuwa na 37000 wacha nibaki na elfu yako mbili nitakutumia kanambia ah na kujua haina shida That is how they did kwa mzigo nikadeliver mtoto wangu everything went smooth. Amen. Na nikasema mimi ni maombi ya mama babu. I remember nilipigia simu on Tuesday nikamwambia eh mama niaje. Kuna hivi na hivi tunaendelea kanambia kuwa na imani na imani Mungu imetosha. Amen. Yenyewe imani Mungu imenitosha. Amen. Na kwa hiyo tena naona kwa hima dhibau itaendelea kushirikiana. Utapo siku kwa shua mtu mmoja ilikuwa nje ile ndani. But sai hey, I'm confident. Hapa ndo maji